Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Hi, folks. Welcome back. And those of you that are new, welcome. You've seen a lot of videos, and so have I. Big red wave coming. Red tsunami. Democrats will be swept out of office. And in part, that's true. Part is just pushing a narrative that you're trying to get your base out to vote. Uh, both sides do it. I used to be a local elected official in the early 2000s, and they call that GOTV, get out the vote. Okay, I get it. You know, the hyperbole is a little tough, but I think in the end, I'm going to give you my prediction at the end of this video, and I'll be brief as I can. The red wave is coming. It won't be a tsunami. It won't be like I believe it was 1990, was it 92, that the Republicans under Newt Gingrich and the contract with America picked up 90-odd seats. That was an historical, historical ass-kicking. And it was, it was a wake-up call, or it should have been for the Democrats. It ended up not being. But I digress. I think a red wave is coming. I think it's up to all of us. Everybody thinks, well, I'm only one person. How does my vote count? It does. Make... A pact, so to speak, with yourself, uh, maybe your spouse, girlfriend, boyfriend, that we're going to bring five people to vote and maybe get some co workers, family members, friends, and say, listen, let's all go vote and we'll go have dinner on later, later on me, or we'll go to a ball game or some other activity. But first, we're going to vote. I'll drive you. If everybody does that as a conservative or a Republican, the Republican Party do, will do extremely well in the midterms. Now, do I trust Kevin McCarthy on the left, who would end up being the speaker? And if they went in the Senate, the Republicans, Mitch McConnell will probably be the majority leader in the Senate. I don't trust those guys as far as I could throw them, especially McConnell. but I Because he's just self-serving. He'd rather be in control of his own people to let mega Republicans in, and he's made that very clear with pulling funding from certain Republicans in certain states for Senate races. Most of us feel like Charlie Brown in the football, if you know that scenario, where Lucy holds the football. And every time poor Charlie Brown goes to kick the football, she pulls it out from under him and goes right out of his behind. And McConnell has done that to a certain extent, lesser extent maybe, McCarthy, but they've been Lucy with the football and we're Charlie Brown. And we continue to believe in them and they pull the football away. Unfortunately, we're going to have to believe in them again. That maybe, just maybe, they've learned that the party is changing. The Democrat Party evolved into some lunatic fringe. And the Republican Party is getting more more moderate and centralized, to be honest with you. Mega Republicans are not extremists. They're constitutionalists. And I know there's bad blood between Mitch McConnell and Donald Trump and the mega people. There always has been, even from the beginning. In fact, Mitch McConnell's wife was a cabinet post under Donald Trump who resigned after J6. All right, I get all that personal stuff. But I think we can believe in these guys one more time. As hard as for me to say that, because basically we have no choice. Now, if you think, well, if I vote Republican again, and these two guys are in charge of the House and the Senate, what's the guarantee they won't screw up just as badly as, as Paul Ryan did and all the rest of the Republicans when Trump got in? No, there is no guarantee. But the alternative is 10 times worse, 100 times worse, 1,000 times worse. We have to trust that they won't pull the football out from under us again. So this is my prediction for the upcoming midterms. And I've heard a lot of videos, seen a lot of videos. I'm sure you have as well. In the House of Representatives, I think the Republicans are going to pick up 31 net seats. In other words, they're going to have 31 more seats than they currently hold. In the U.S. Senate, the Republicans are going to pick up three net seats. It's my opinion. In other words, when all is said and done, 
the Republicans will have 53 seats and the Democrats will have 47 seats in the U.S. Senate. If the cards fall the right way and, and the Republicans get very lucky, they might end up with 56 seats in the Senate. But you can't count on luck. You have to look at the way that things are. I am not an expert by any means, but I've done a lot of research. And this is the number I came up with. I think it's feasible. I think it's viable. And then the next cycle, in 2024, the Republicans can build on the seats they've taken in this cycle and maybe get 60 seats in the Senate and get a really, really huge majority in the House. That's very, very feasible if the Republicans have learned from their mistakes. Messaging, messaging, messaging. A thing the Democrats are good at. And a lot of Republicans are taking a lot of the lead from the progressive Democrats. And I don't mean in policy, I mean in tactics. Take it to your enemy. Use your intelligence and show your policies and things that we will do for the American people and not just rhetoric. And always, always, always do not back down from any fight, from any progressive and any debate. There'll be a barrage of ads. You're going to see ads all over cable news and here on YouTube and at nauseum until you're so sick of it, you're going to scream. But it's all part of the process, remember. All part of the process. It's get out their message. And the Democrats are, are very good at that. I have to give it to them. And they have been for a very long time. It does help that you control most of cable news and almost all the social media. But even with all that institutional power and authority, the Democrats have fumbled the ball. They have screwed up royally to progressiveness and the woke so to speak, of the new Democrat Party is at direct odds with the average American. It's a golden opportunity for the Republicans to stand up and finally have some control over what direction the country goes in. And I'll leave you with this. Make no mistake, the progressive Democrats will make this midterm election about President Trump, nothing could be farther from the truth. This midterm election is about their failures in policy and practice through illegal immigration, bad fiscal policy, borrowing trillions we don't have, making us look weak on the world stage, very bad trade deals, undermining business, especially small business. They've destroyed it systematically from the bottom up. And the American people have to open up their eyes and pay attention to what's going on. Like I said, the Republicans don't have all the answers. We're just going to have to put our faith that there'll be enough of the new Republicans. Some people call them mega Republicans. Some people call them constitutionalists. Either way, there'll be enough of the new Republicans in the House and the Senate so we can turn this ship around. But it's up to you. Bring as many people as you can to vote. This could very well be, and this is not rhetoric, the most important election in your lifetime. And until next time, goodbye and good luck. Mm -hmm.